They're all around us, in public and personal applications, electromagnetic fields, from mobile phones to navigation systems, pylons to medical diagnostics. Yet, little is known about their effects on human physiology. One reason why it's taken many years to craft Europe-wide legislation to protect people working beside high electromagnetic activity. We have no evidence of possible long-term effects. So what we've tried to do is put in place a comprehensive package that had certain values to protect workers. A proposal drafted almost 10 years ago was shelved because the permissible exposure limits it set were so strict it would have blocked many applications, including life-saving medical techniques like MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, leaving doctors no choice but to use equipment known to be harmful. MRI is important because it prevents patients and physicians and other healthcare professionals to uh, avoid the risk of having radiology. The first people who had uh, problems with radiology themselves, who got cancers of the skin doing radiographies without any protection measure. We care for the safety of the patients and for the safety of the medical staff, for the medical employees uh, who uh, many times have to be very close to vulnerable people, to older individuals, uh, to children, etc. MEPs are demanding employers assess and reduce workers' exposure. But there are exemptions under some circumstances, including the medical profession and the military. The MEP guiding the new rules through Parliament says she's also demanding officials keep up to speed with research. J'ai mis aussi dans la directive le suivi euh, de, euh, des évolutions scientifiques et des évolutions technologiques. Et je crois que euh, c'est quelque chose qui est tout à fait sage et de nature à rassurer nos concitoyens. The issue will be debated and voted on in this week's plenary session in Strasbourg.